Okay, welcome back. Now, what we're going to talk about today is goji berry. I'm pretty sure you saw the title. Now, the plant kingdom out there has a lot of actually plants that are right there for your age. Now, I need you to understand when I'm talking about each and every uh, herb and actually uh, spice or uh, fruit or berry or vegetable, you have to understand that these... Uh, these actually plants out here, the plant kingdom out here, Mother Nature, what it has to offer you, they kind of work against the food industry. What I mean by that is if you're eating the filth, it's very difficult for these herbs to work properly as far as healing your body. Now, I don't care in what stage you're in, what, what you got going on in your life, I don't care of what the doctor has said, the so-called doctor and whatnot, I don't care what they have told you, you getting ready for hospice, all kinds of different types of things that they like to scare you with, it's all right here. If you got breath in your body, I'm telling you for 100% fact that you can actually look and research for yourself, your body can heal itself. If you aid it with certain things, it can heal itself if you just leave it alone. It'll correct all the things and whatnot. But when it gets to the part where your body is crying out for help and it needs you to give it some boost this immune system you know uh cleanse certain uh what is it called organs out now think about it why do you need to boost your immune system why do you need to cleanse a particular herb i mean particular organ with an herb why do you need to have a detox because you're toxic you have got filth in a particular organ that is so so heavy and filthy it needs you to come through and cleanse that toxic out now food the regular american diet food or all the food out there that's genetically modified which is pretty much all of it how are you going to stay away from what is it called not dying early you know the average lifespan of your parents your grandparents you know my grandparents was 92. so how are you going to get to that 92 and a half average lifespan my grandfather lived to 94 so i know it's true and he was eating almost whatever he wanted to eat but he was in the sun he was in the sun the sun will actually kill off all pretty much anything you know if you go outside and blanket the sun at least once or twice a day like you're actually bathing and whatnot like you brush your teeth it will rid a lot of actually toxins out of your body because uh, toxins wants to get out your body and you can help it get out the body it's going to assist that. Why did you say the sun? Well, blanket at the sun. I know you heard people say sun gazing here and there. You don't have to go out there and do sun gazing for uh, uh, minutes at the time. I mean, literally, it takes 30 seconds to a couple minutes, you know what I mean, in the morning and then at sunset. Any one of those particular times of the, uh, of the day, you're giving your body straight energy, high energy energy. I mean, that type of energy that is... Uh, the, uh, the kind they can't capsule in bottles that will vitamin D that will come through and sweep through any kind of filth that's in your body. That's just one way. The body is amazing. Now let's get to the topic of goji berry. What does goji berry do? Boo, do. To me, I wanted to talk about it. The reason why I actually have this product at my website is because you know, you know, I talk about a lot of herbs, but this particular one I wanted to have access to because it ain't like easy access to a lot of people. And um, the kind that to me was easy access, which was the actual berry. It looks like a cranberry. It looks like a raisin. And, you know, it's kind of nasty when you eat them like grapes. Some people can handle it. I couldn't. <laughs> so I actually put it in my, my fruit drinks. I, you know, so I make sure I have at least one of those. If I don't have it in my fruit drink, and before I go to bed, I make sure I have me uh, some in my, actually a small cup of water. I stir it around and boom. I'll take the actual um, goji berry. Why? Because... Goji berry has over 20 plus minerals in it. Goji berry is high in vitamin C. I mean high in vitamin C. And I'm going to do a video on vitamin C if I haven't done it already. Telling you details about vitamin C and how powerful vitamin C is. And most of you know you can get vitamin C from an orange. But the goji berry has over three to four times more than an orange of vitamin C. And if you have it in a dry form, you know, um, like a, what is it called? An orange, you can get the actual vitamin C from the outer part that the, uh, the C, you know, uh, that white part that's around the actual orange itself. 
you know, when you peel down the color of the orange, you see a white thick part. That's a part of that is vitamin C. And what they'll do is they'll actually um, make dry that out real so much so they can put it in a powder form. And then you can capsule it up in the, in the person. But but um, um, goji berry has seven over seven times more than uh, vitamin C uh, uh, than an orange. So it is a uh, it is the number one vitamin C fruit out there all across the world. So, and it's packed with antioxidants. <laughs> and, it, and it actually is an inflammatory um, fruit that will rid your body of any inflammatory issues that you have in your body. A lot of people don't understand what inflammation, when you have inflammation in your body. Inflammation will sit anywhere. It will sit in your brain, it will sit in your joints, it will sit in your actual, uh, your, your, your actual uh, portions of your body. I mean, inflammation, is all throughout your body because of the filth that you're eating. So when you're taking something that will help aid and push that stuff through, boom. I mean, what more can you ask for? Goji berry actually, um, it actually corrects the imbalance of your of your actual uh, your immune system. So if you're fatigued and you're tired a lot, goji berry is going to correct that for you. It's going it's going to assist you with that anxiety. It's going to correct that. Um, the major thing that I like about it is your red and white cells. <laughs> it makes sure that it corrects any abnormal cells. That's major. Now, if you heard the beginning of my video, what I was talking about, because you can't really talk about cancer a lot, the boogeyman, because when you talk about it, you know, depending on how you talk about it, because the name is Patton, you know, they can come after you. But you do the research enough for yourself and you'll see that what does cancer do? Cancer, when it sets in, it breaks down the actual cells in your body and they become and they start attacking other cells in your body. So that actually bad cell will copycat itself and start attacking other good cells and make it a bad cell, too. It's like a straight up vampire that come through there and just start sweeping through your body. So when you have chemo, chemo will actually kill off all the bad cells and the good cells, because your body will reproduce those trillions of cells in an instant. So that's why they have you come back through there, but and they hope you'll go into remission or to go away. But that's not killing the actual cell itself. You wanna actually get rid of that bad cell that is just destroying your body and copycatting itself. You don't wanna get rid of the good cells so there's a lot of things you can do to get rid of these bad, foul cells. So goji berry is one of them. Goji berry actually corrects within less than 24 hours to 45 hours. I mean, I have to have a video on my website that you can go check out for yourself. You know what I mean? It will correct the bad cells and the white cells. You know, but you stay on that for like 30, 45 days, I don't give a care what you're going through that goji berry is going to assist getting you back on track with good cells. Now you cannot do this at the same time eating the same diet. And what I mean by the same diet, you know, if you live where I live, it's a horrible diet. You know, wherever you go, you have the choice to choose to eat the way you eat. You have the choice to eat good or eat bad but it's all over you and once around you. And once you actually take a bite into some bacon, <laughs> man, I know y'all have had some bacon before. The way it actually, uh, actually, the stuff that's in it and the way they prepare it, it's so addicting. Every food out there is addicting the same way. And when they add certain types of sugar and, and fructose corn syrup and all types of different types of sweeteners and preservatives, they know how to make all these thousands and thousands of um, uh, taste buds on your tongue wake up. And then you have a portion in the back of your brain that controls addiction and cravings. And they know how to tap into that. So it's all about chemistry and whatnot. But the plant kingdom out there knows how to actually correct that. You know, but the addiction that you're addicted to is so strong. There's a study out there that shows this 10 times, you can research it yourself. The food out there today is 10 times more addicting than cocaine. <laughs> Try to go off of bread. I'm talking about wheat bread, white bread, 
wheat bread, anything with wheat in it and whatever, try to go off of that for a week. See how you start tripping on the second day. Try to go off of carbs for an actual uh, um, a week. Matter of fact, try to go off for three days. Most of y'all ain't disciplined to do it. I tried it many times and I couldn't do it until I actually started cutting off things little by little and I start adding things to my body that will actually uh, uh, be against the cravings, you know, and uh, trick my mind, you know what I'm saying? There's things out there that would turn the addiction off and curve the cravings in a different way. It's a, it's a chemical makeup and chemical, it's chemical and chemistry when you're knowing how to actually put these things together. So when it comes to herbs, you have to understand what these herbs will do for you. And most drugs that they actually come up with, that they actually put in the pharmacy anyway comes from herbs. They just modify it into something that is a more of a treatment and then they don't tell you to change your diet. But back to goji berry, when you're going through any issues, I'm not telling you to if you're actually going to the doctor to uh, stop going to uh, your chemo. Uh, you know, that would be the best route to go. But right here, you pretty much, you know, they got you right here in the mind. You can't really cut out the chemotherapy. But, uh, but you definitely can boost your system. If you change your diet and start eating a lot better, and then you also add things like goji berry, dandelion, milk thistle, uh, burdock root. You add things like that to your diet, Himalayan salt, you know what I mean, a pinch of it to your water. You know what I mean? You add uh, cayenne pepper for cir circulation. It's a lot of things that you can do when you're going through an actual issue and a dying state that they want to either put you on hospice or they want you to go into dialysis or they want you to go into actually getting uh, uh, therapy or you're basically in the hospital ongoing all the time and your organs are starting to shut down. So the main thing is understanding your organs. Organs, and that's what I'm here to do. I'm trying. I'm gonna help you assist you understand your organs. You got your pancreas, you got your liver. They pretty much like married to each other. You got your gallbladder. You have your actual your your heart. You have your brain. You have your uh, your cells. You have your white and red cells. You have your um what is it called your blood. I mean. I mean, you have your your uh, your glands, your, your your kidneys, your lungs. I mean, the glands are ridiculously important. Most of you can't even name three uh, glands in your body, but you got three in your brain. You know, you got the hypothalamus uh, uh, glands, you have the pituitary glands, you have the actual uh, penile gland. That's right up in here. You know, you have your uh, your actual. Uh, your thyroid gland, you have your pathyroid gland, that's two up in there. You have your thymus gland, some people don't count it, but I do. You know, you have your pancreas gland, you have your uh, adrenal glands, both two sitting on top of your kidneys, and you have your actual uh, or uh, in your growing area glands. You know, men have the actual uh, prostate glands and women have the, uh, the uh, you know, the other ones. <laughs> but um, you have to understand how important these glands are. And when you understand herbs, which I'm going to help you understand herbs, all you have to do is follow and watch me. I'm going to keep loading videos about herbs because that's my passion. You know, that's what I like to do. So anyways, how do you take your, these are goji berries? You take them anywhere between like a handful of them, like three or four of them if you're doing the dry ones. You can get those at the store and whatnot. They don't really, you don't have to, they're not really expensive. Some, some of them stick together and whatnot, but if you can find a brand that you like, Go ahead and rock with that if you like the taste. Some people put them in these teas. Some people put them in these soups. You know, if you let you soak them for a while, they get softer. Some people just eat them like, you know, like raisins. But I wouldn't do no more than a handful. That's like four or five of them a day. You know, you can do up to, uh, more than that, but I would do about four to five of them a day as a daily regimen to make sure that you have all the minerals and you are keeping your red and white cells correct and your immune system. It gives you so much energy, it's ridiculous. So you, you good if you're taking it on a regular basis, but you have to correct your diet. Also, if you uh, on, on my actual um, my actual site, we sell the actual uh, the concentrated powder. So you could take something like a, a half of a tablespoon and put it in your, in your actual uh, fruit drink. You can actually take a, a whole tablespoon and put it in eight eight ounce glass of water, stir it up, drink it. You know, it don't taste that good to me when I do it that way. I put mine in my actual fruit drink. So um, this is what you gotta actually do. You can actually uh, put it in some capsules, you know what I mean? And take about three to four capsules a day. 
you know, uh, because, uh, and, and you ain't got to worry about a lot of issues going on and something attacking you later on. And one thing about goji berries I failed to mention is that it regulates your blood sugar. You know, I mean, your, uh, uh, your, uh, what it, it regulates your, your sugar level. <laughs> and it also strengthens your eyes. So, you know, I haven't been taking it long enough, but once I start taking it long enough and get rid of these, these glasses, it, 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 it will actually start strengthening my eyes, making them a lot better. And there's other actual herbs out there that will correct your eyes as well. But anyways, I just wanted to get this information out to you as soon as possible, letting you know that I don't care what condition you're in, you can actually reverse that with the plant kingdom out there. Learn about these herbs. And if you don't want to learn about these herbs, just keep on waiting. Send me a request and let me know what herb, what, what herb you want me to do a video on, and I'll talk about it. But the next videos I'm going to start talking about the line, the theme I'm following is the ones that actually cleanse the body, like every organ, like the ones that are most, most powerful in actually getting your organ right, like the liver, the pancreas, the ones I mentioned before, your lungs, your kidney, you know, your blood, purifying your blood, your colon, you know, when your small intestines, your large intestines, those are the things I'm going to focus on, your brain, your heart. That's what I'm going to focus on, your blood pressure, your, uh, your sugar level of your, uh, uh, diabetes. All of those are majorly important. So that's what I'm going to focus on. And each why I just touch on each and every one of them, I'm going to give you details of the, of the herbs that are powerful when it comes to correcting things like that. Like, for instance, um, a lot of people don't know black seed oil. That actual oil right there is another one that will actually, it's one of those type of oils that will take care of any disease that's out there any issues you got with your body it will start correcting that when you actually put black seed look up black seed oil i'm definitely gonna do a, a video on it it will start correcting a lot matter of fact go watch the video that i was talking about because that i put when you click on um the uh if you're gonna purchase the, the product goji berry click on it it's a video right underneath there breaking down uh details about uh how goji berry will start correcting your actual red and white cells and also it's another video uh, of an individual breaking down teaching you the actual how to correct a lot of things when it comes to the cells that will straight smash those actual issues that you got going on when it comes to you already know that bad c word <laughs> so the spooky the boogie man but anyways i just wanted to give you more information and, and and tell you to follow me so you can understand how you can go to the plant kingdom and get everything you need. It's just like I said before, Mother Nature is your friend. And I have it right here on my logo stating, Mother Nature is a gift to healthy living. So never forget that. Peace.